Are you only trading on one exchange only to see the perfect pairs on the other exchanges that you're not connected to? What if I can show you that there is a tool that allows you to trade on multiple exchanges at the same time while you only have to learn one user interface? One user interface will allow you to trade across all these exchanges at the same time and also offer you extra functionalities on top of what the exchanges have to offer. In this video, I will show you how Altrady can help you to become a better trader and trade on multiple exchanges at the same time. If you're new to this channel, then please make sure that you like and subscribe to the videos so that you can stay updated on all the videos that Altrady has to offer. It doesn't matter if you're a spot trader or a futures trader. Trading can be stressful and you need to be able to make fast decisions in certain situations, especially on futures trading where you need to make sure that you don't get liquidated. So if you want to learn how to streamline your trades, then please make sure that you keep watching and I will show you all the order types that you need to execute your trades properly. So first let's talk about how you can add multiple exchanges to your old trading account. In the trading terminal, if you go over to the markets widget, you can see all the exchanges that we have currently connected. And if you trade on any of these exchanges, then you can connect it via an API key. If you go over to the settings, exchange account API keys, then you can add all the accounts that you need. Simply click on connect account, select the exchange of your choice and click on the full guide and follow the step-by-step -step guide on how to add your API keys for that specific exchange. And once you've added your account, then you can go back to the trading terminal. Once your account is activated and you can trade, then you can see the trade form as well. Now, once you have added all your exchange accounts, the first thing that you can check is the portfolio. In the portfolio, you will see an overview of all your holdings across all the exchanges. And we will keep records over time so you can follow along and see the growth of your assets. On the sidebar, you will see your live accounts, and your paper accounts, and you can also add your external wallets. Simply click on the add button to add a wallet address. You can select for which chain you want to enter the wallets. And once you've done that, you can see the assets from the wallets are automatically tracked. Down here, you have the asset distribution. So you can see exactly how much of each coin you're holding in comparison to the others. On this side, you have the total balance over time. And we show you some quick statistics about the recent changes. Below here, you will see all the assets that you have and how much of that you have available. If you want to fine tune it based on the exchange, then you simply deselect them and all the assets will be updated to what you are holding on that specific exchange. So now that we can track our portfolio growth, let's see how you can actually grow it. In crypto trading, there are several ways to enter the market. You can enter by market or limit order, where a market order will immediately buy the coins at current market value and a limit order allows you to set up a specific price for which you want to buy the coins. Placing a market order is very straightforward. Just go over to the market tab and then select if you want to spend dollars to buy the coins or if you want to buy a specific amount of Bitcoin. This option can be different per exchange as not all exchanges allow you to specify the two amounts. So now that we want to spend USDT, I can enter that I want to buy for $100 and then simply click place order. After confirming, my order is immediately executed and you can see the trade arrow appear on the chart. Now that I've entered the market, maybe I want to buy some more if the price drops. In that case, I would have to set up a limit order. I can specify how much I want to buy again and then simply drag the price down. After confirming, the limit order is now placed. And when the market moves down and hits my price, then my order will be filled and another trade error will appear on the chart. Limit and market orders can be placed on both directions. So we can also sell our coins at market value or at limit value. For example, if I want to sell here, I can just right click in the chart and set create sell order. And then if I want to receive my $100 back and leave the rest in, then I can specify how much I wanted to sell. Now, if you need to make adjustments to the limit orders, you can simply do that by going into the chart and clicking on an order to edit it. Now I can simply drag the order up and down and you will see that the values change whenever I move it. Simply confirm, like so, and now my orders are both updated. Now next to market and limit orders, we also have the stop market and stop limit orders. A stop order will only execute once the stop price is reached. This allows you to get in and out of the market 
when a move happens in the opposite direction of what you expected. For example, I expect the price to go down and then I want to buy. But what if the price goes up and I also want to buy on a breakout? I can use a stop market order, drag the price up here, and then specify that I want to buy for $100 if the price moves up. And I can do the same for my sell. If I want to do a limit sell, I can also change it to a stop limit. So if I cancel the order, go to stop limit. Now I can do the same, but the difference is, is that I have two price handles. So when the price touches my stop price, a limit order will be placed for a maximum of this price level. This means that I would never buy coins at a higher price than my limit price. But please be aware that this can result in unfilled orders. Now I can also do stop market orders on the sell side. So what if I want to minimize my risk and I want to sell my coins when the price moves down? This will ensure that I minimize my losses in case the price continues to drop and I can get out earlier. For the stop orders on the sell side, we also have the stop limit order. The stop limit order also comes with two price handles. So we have the stop price and the limit price, meaning that I would never sell for a lesser price. But again, this may lead into unfilled orders and the price continuing to move in the downward direction. Now these order placements are for spot exchanges. So how would that look like if we were trading on futures exchanges? Let's find a futures market. As you can see, the interface stayed exactly the same. We just get a few extra buttons on the trade form. These buttons are required for futures trading as futures trading is a little bit more complex. Instead of buying coins, you actually buy contracts that you're obligated to repay. A contract can be that you will buy it now and sell it at a later date, or you can sell a few contracts now to buy them back later at a lower price. This means that instead of buying and selling, you actually go long or short. Long means that you will get into a position where you think the price will move up, and with short, you assume that the price will go down. And if you're correct, then you could make money when the price goes up or when the price goes down. This is a big difference from spot trading, where you usually buy coins to hold them and sell them for a higher price. And occasionally you can sell some Bitcoin to buy it back at a lower price to be able to buy more Bitcoin. Now let's say that we want to open up a long position with a market order. As you can see, this exchange does not allow me to specify the amount of dollars I want to invest for going long. So I have to specify the amount of Bitcoin that I want to buy. And then when I place my order, you can see that it's immediately executed. Now, in order to close this position, I would have to go over to the close side and I would have to close my long. As you can see, it's now red indicating a sell order. Now, as I don't want to sell immediately, I will not use a market order for selling, but I will use my limit order for selling. And in this case, I'm closing it so I can use 100%. And as you can see, my sell order is now placed. If I want to make sure that I don't lose more money than I'm prepared to, I can also set up a stop market order again. Simply set the stop price and hit place order. Now you see that both orders are placed and I can comfortably watch how the market plays out. In the introduction, I've also talked about adding extra features. For example, we have the ladder orders. Ladder orders allow you to quickly enter into the market with multiple orders, saving you a lot of time in placing these orders. Simply select how many orders you want to buy and the size that you want to have them for. You can also change the size scale to equal, linear or exponential, allowing you to increase your order size dramatically as the price continues to drop. After you've selected all the orders that you want to place, you can make sure that they are exactly at the right levels by switching over to the targeted version and then hit save. And that created some extra buy orders very quickly. And I can also easily cancel them again. The other features that we have are for take profits and stop losses. So as you can see in this position, I've set up a stop loss order and a take profit order, but I did that separately. If I just cancel these two orders, then you see that the trade form is informing me about a position that I have and I can set up this position by selecting the orders. Now that the position is created, I can add a take profit order and a stop loss order at the same time. I can also add multiple targets for my take profit. 
so that I can sell on the way up. Simply confirm. And now the take profit and stop loss orders are created. And down here in the position info widget, you can also see the exact data about this position. So you can see that I'm currently slightly in profit, how much I've invested, what my leverage is, what my liquidation price is. And you can see the unrealized and realized profits and the fees that I've paid. All this information is very, very valuable and is required to make sure that you understand how your trading is going. Without this information, you are trading blind and it will be very difficult for you to become profitable. If you want to learn more about all the features that Alltrady has to offer, then please make sure that you check all the videos from our channel as we go in depth about each feature inside the trading widget and inside the position management forms. Now, if you're not convinced about using Alltrady yet, then you can use the 14 day free trial that we have to offer. And if after that you need some more time, then you can switch to free paper trading to make sure that you get comfortable with Alltrady first before you start using real money. Now that's it for this video and I wish you lots of profit.